the Most High. Oh, praise be unto Him once again. I bear witness that there is but one Elohim, the one who has declared the end from the beginning, the one who shouted and said, Let there be light. And immediately there was light. The one who, even though he dwelt in darkness, through his power, because of his authority, he was able to declare his works in darkness even before he created the light. When you read the book of Genesis, it talks about Elohim creating the heaven and the earth. The sun and the moon were not yet created. Yet Elohim was able to create in darkness the earth and the heavens. He was able to create all the spirits who stand before him. That's why when you read the book of Psalms, it is recorded that behold, unto Elohim, darkness and light is alike. He sees in darkness and he also sees in the light. But we who are human beings, when darkness overshadow the light that is around us, we cease from doing so many things. We then begin to find slumber on our bed. We begin to dream dreams. We begin to do all kinds of crazy things when darkness compass all of us about. But behold, it is written that we who are alive, because Elohim has bought us with the precious blood, we must do the work of him who has called us in the light. For behold, the days are coming that ye will seek to do something, but you will not be able to do it. The days are coming that ye will seek to go into the city, but you will not be able to go into the city. The days are coming that you will wake up on your bed, that you will want to open your eyes, and you will indeed open your eyes, but you will not see. The days are coming that you will wake up, that you will want to hear voices or sound in your ears, but behold, you will not be able to hear anything. So when you read the book of Ecclesiastes, it says that unto the youth, I recommend that they remember their creator in the days of their younger days, before troubled days come, before darkness come around them, before they will try to touch something and their hands will not be moving, before they will desire to go somewhere and behold, their feet will fill them in that day. Bless Elohim for this life. Bless Elohim for the anointing that he has showered upon us this Sabbath day. We may come before thee again with the mysteries of Elohim, the ones he has hidden from the beginning. It was said unto the prophet Daniel when he spoke unto the angel who has revealed unto him the end. And he said unto him that master, please, Give unto me the explanations of these visions and dreams so that I may also be able to tell my friends and the people around me. And then the angel of Elohim said unto him, Daniel, seal these books up and shut them down and go thy way, for it shall not be revealed unto you. But behold, around 2016, it shall be revealed unto the sons and daughters of Elohim, and they will declare the mysteries of Elohim unto his children. When you read the book of Revelation 10, verse 7, it said, that, Behold, in the days of the last angel, the seventh angel, when he begins to sound his trumpet, all the mysteries of Elohim shall be finished. We are in a glorious moment. We are in a moment, we are in an era where 
the mysteries of Elohim are being revealed unto us. The mysteries of Elohim is not how rich you will become. The mysteries of Elohim is not how beautiful you will become. The mysteries of Elohim is not about who you will marry. But the mysteries of Elohim is to reveal that which has been hidden from the beginning so that we may all repent and prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah. I bear witness that there is but one Messiah whose name is Yahushua HaMashiach, the one who took away the sins of Israel and he has reached out even unto the Gentiles. When you read the book of Isaiah 11, he said that, Behold, in his days an ensign shall be sent even unto the Gentiles, that they may know that the branch from the tribe of Judah, he is the light of the world. And the Gentiles will in that day call upon this name of Yahushua HaMashiach. But how can you call upon this name if you've never heard it before? And how can you hear this name without a preacher? And how can they preach if they have not been sent by Elohim? For it is written that how beautiful are the feet of the ones who bring good tidings to the poor, not to the rich of this world, not to the wicked of this world, not to the crazy people of this world, but the ones who are humble before Elohim, he said that they will hear a voice even behind them when they trust in Elohim. And that voice will tell them where to go. We bless Elohim for the mysteries. We bless Elohim for his spirit or his ruach that he has given unto us so that we may believe in him even unto the end. For it is written that behold, whosoever shall endure unto the end, even the same shall be saved. Your so-called salvation prayer or enchantment or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't save anything. Sinner's prayer or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't save you. But who is able to endure unto the end? Except Elohim is with him. So we bless Elohim for this wonderful day. It is a day full of rain, darkness full of temptations, full of fornication, full of wickedness, full of homosexuality, full of lesbianism, full of abominations, full of stealing, full of robbery, full of lies, and at the same time, full of righteousness. For wherever you will see darkness, you will see the light of Elohim, so that there will be a difference between that which is holy and that which is unholy. So we give Elohim all the praise. We bless his holy name for this wonderful session. If you recall, we have been speaking about this topic, I think, for the past two weeks. Today being the third week, we've shown you the many titles for who you refer as Satan or the devil or Satan. We've shown you his many names. By the mercies of Elohim, we were able to break down the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, where it talks about why or how is thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning star. <laughs> we showed you that indeed it is nothing but a man. It is nothing but a nation. It is nothing but a people. He showed you with precept. We did not add our own interpretation. We allow the Bible to speak for itself. We are not here to defend the Bible, but the Bible will defend itself. And after that, we showed you Ezekiel, the 28th chapter, about the prince who has been in Eden, in Eden, the garden of Elohim. And we showed you how these Gentiles, they've been able to trick you. When you mention Lucifer, immediately you think it's the devil. When it comes to the prince of Tyre, even when your pastors are teaching, they will be able to just 
pull up some few verses from Ezekiel 20 and 8 and say that it's talking about the devil. But yet, I have never heard one pastor standing in the car saying, let us pray against the prince of time. Never was, never will be. So we showed you with the Bible, with verses from the Holy Scriptures, that it was but a man. And he died the same as you will die. And he was buried the same as you will be buried. So we bless Elohim for those mysteries. Today, by his mercies, we will show you the reason why Belial, Mastema, Satan, the devil, the great Asian dragon, the reason why he was created, what his tax is, why he why is it that when you think about this this guy has been there from the beginning he's still chilling here for thousands of years he did not die and you are busy finding him <laughs> he was there when elohim said let us <laughs> that guy was there and you are busy finding him hmm? today we will show you the reason why he was created. When you read the book of Isaiah, it says that it is I, Elohim, who created the destroyer to destroy. Nevertheless, even though I have created him to destroy, nevertheless, no weapon fashioned against my people shall stand. We will show you this mystery, and then once we are done by his mercies, then we will show you who is a witch? <laughs> Who is a wizard? So that you will know when you stand in the church, binding your mother will give birth to you. <clears throat> gave you milk free of charge. You were squeezing their breast as if you owned them. You were chewing on it <laughs> as if it was a kebab. And now all of a sudden you stand in the church, binding your own mother, wishing for your own mother to die because a fake prophet told you that your mother is a witch. How wicked can you be? When you read the book of Apocrypha, it says that when the strength of your father and the strength of your mother goes down, behold, don't use it against them, but help them for Every single person who acts against them, it will be a blasphemy against Elohim himself. Do you know why we are cursed? Gone too soon? 30 years you are gone. 25 years you are gone. From Genesis to Revelation, I'm still waiting for any prophet, any teacher, any evangelist to just give me one verse. Where they brought out someone and said, Behold, this one is a witch. And let us deliver him. <laughs> it was not so. When the Messiah came, it was not so. When the apostles were there, it was not so. So how come all of a sudden in the church, it's all about witchcraft? Where did it come from? Who gave it to you? Who showed you that? And it's always these women. <laughs> they always point fingers at these women that they are witches. And then they stretch forth their hands and they are somersaulting, screaming like Jackie Chan, rolling on the ground. And then the next moment, all of a sudden, she stands up and she does not even know what happened. Do you know what you have just done? And then the next week, she goes to another pastor. The same thing happens. So who is a witch? Who is a wizard? Today, by the message of Elohim, we shall show you who that person is. And once we reach there, we pray for the spirit of Elohim to come mightily. <laughs> that we may break it down properly for you to understand.
that we may show you the conclusion of your soul, the conclusion of your matter. So may Elohim bless you wherever that you may be. Now let us start. Who is the devil? What is his assignment? If you are at home, you can call him the devil, Satan, Bilia, Mastema, the dragon, or the snake. He is not a snake. He is the snake who was hmm. and is and is about to come. Because any person can be a snake. Many people are snakes. With double tongue, they speak righteousness and unrighteousness at the same time. They tell you, don't oh, forget about anything. Just, just, it's all about your hearts. But pay your tight. What a wicked generation. People who cease to go to school, young ones, they don't want to go to school. They will tell you that they have been called by Elohim. They received their baptism when they were taking their shower. Mm. They received their calling when they were jogging. I was in jail and the Lord Jesus appeared to me. What, what a statement. Where did you see him? How did he look like? Was it like the one we showed you when we were talking about the image of the beast? That smooth boy with horse hair with blue eye? Was it the one? And I know that it is that one that you saw. <laughs> and he told you, my son, forget about the drugs that you were dealing with. I'm going to use you mightily as a prophet to the nation. Yet, you don't even have plane tickets to go into your own country. Who told you that he has sent you? You just follow any dream, any vision. You just follow it. Dreams and visions can be deceptive without wisdom. Amen. So Peter, when he saw a vision, he concluded. And the angel said, oh, no, there are three men coming. They are unbelievers, therefore they are known as unclean beasts. But they are men. Help them. He was not talking about eating swine's flesh, putting it, baking it in the morning with beans, in bread with eggs. English breakfast. What? Mm. With Sprite, Coca, 9 a.m. you are drinking Coke. That's right. With poisonous swine's flesh and whatnot. Mm. Shrimps. What? May Elohim have compassion upon all of us. Amen. And when diabetes reveals himself unto you, you point your finger at your mother who gave birth to you. So now who is the devil? You will read from the book of the Jubilees. If you are a Christian, you don't have it in your Bible. If you are a Muslim, you don't have it in your Bible or your Quran or your holy book. You read from the book of Jubilee 16. And at verse 16. The, 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 the book of Jubilee. If you have internet. Nowadays, I don't even bother explaining things anymore. Please, please. Do. People can go and watch pornography and they know names of porn stars and whatnot. They can uh, break down rapture. They can read books that have been written by so-called men of God mm. talking about how to speak in tongues. Mm. The dimensions. But when it comes to the hidden books, you don't give a damn. Mm. It's not I don't even bother. If you have internet, just Google it. The book of Jubilee. Baba, is it canon or? Like that's Christianity. Canon or? I don't deal with canon or non canon or whatever they want to call it. Any book that reveals the truth, I will use it. Amen. Any book that tells you, thou shalt not sin, Amen. is a good book. Hallelujah. The book of Jubilees, if you are at home, chapter 16, if you have internet, just Google it. Before there was Genesis, Exodus, Numbers, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, there was Jubilees. There was Yasha. There was Enoch. When you read the book of Jude, when he said that, behold, and the son of Adam, Enoch, even the prophet, 
prophesied by saying, and he was quoting. Where did you think that he was quoting from? Wow. Huh? When Paul talks about James and Jamres of whatever he said, mm -hmm. where did you think that he was quoting from? Do you find it in the book of Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, or the children? It's not there. Wow, <laughs> where is it coming from? Yet it is written in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. And your pastor will tell you, just forget about it. It's not canon. It's not canon. <laughs> canon. Canon. He comes. We will see. The book of Jubilee 16, verse 16. Listen. Jubilee 16, verse 16. And behold, Abraham, he loved Isaac, his son. And he delighted in him above all things. And bid him an offer as a burnt offering on the altar. And I will see if he would do this command. And I will know if he is faithful in everything, wherein thou dost try him. So it was not Elohim who just sat down and he was like, let me try Abraham. The same as Job. It was somebody who told Elohim, look at Abraham. You have been boasting and saying that Abraham will worship you. That as for Abraham, you can trust him. Now you have given him his only begotten son. Now tell him to sacrifice him. And let's see whether he will still obey you. It was somebody. Who was that somebody? The book of Job. <laughs> chapter 1 and at verse 6. Job chapter 1 and at verse 6. Verse 12. Listen to the book. Now there was a day. Now the scripture said that there was a day. That the sons of Elohim. Who? That the sons of Elohim. And the daughters of Elohim. Sons of so it Elohim. It is already showing that in the heavenly realm there are no angelic beings who are women. That's why when Elohim was making man, he first made Adam in his own image. Mm. As a man. That's right. And from Adam he created a woman. That's right. So the woman was made in the image, in the of, image of Adam, not in the image of Elohim. Wow. You can find this in your New Testament. Mm. Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 11. That's right. So women, you are of the man. Mm. And the man is of Elohim. Amen. You shows the image of the man. That's right. And he shows you the image of Elohim. Mm. Listen to the book. Now there was a day when the sons of Elohim came to present themselves before Yah. So let us now look at someone who is also a son of Elohim. Who was he? And Satan. No, 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 no. How can Satan be a son of Elohim? And Satan came also among See, the sons of Elohim, they were the angels. Mm. And Adam was also made in an angelic form, but he was given opportunity to create to make, to produce. Angels were not given that ability to produce. They only obey, command. they are like soldiers, go to war, kill, and they do it. But men, that's why the Messiah said that in his kingdom we shall go back into our previous nature, where we are like angels, for they marry not, for they die not. Therefore, they do not need to produce babies anymore. That's right. Wow. So don't say that you will take your wife to heaven. You'll be telling with your height, your wife in heaven. Mm. You'll be too high <laughs> in the heaven. <laughs> so now that you have your wife, love her with all your heart. Amen. And protect her mm. with all kinds of protection, mm. spiritually and physically. Proper love. Otherwise, in hell, you will lift up your eyes. Oh my. And if you're a woman, obey your husband. Mock him not Amen. when he's weak. That's right. When he has lost his job, don't tell him what a lazy man you are. Mm. Good for nothing. Good for nothing. You, you go chop cake today. Mm. And you have to buy it yourself. Mm. And make sure that you bring pepper. <laughs> Shut up. May I Elohim have compassion? Listen to the book. The, son, the sons of Elohim. So the sons of Elohim who are angels came to present, to present themselves. themselves unto Elohim. And Satan. So Satan was also a son of Elohim. Came an angel of Elohim created for his own purpose. When we are breaking down, 
the archangels, you will see their duties. Satan also has his own duty. He was a son of Elohim. He also came presented. Elohim did not cast him out. <laughs> he didn't cast out the devil. But he welcomed him with water and said, that's it, that's it. And let's have a dialogue. And what happened? And Yahuwah said unto Satan, and the Most High, not a demon, look at Elohim, mm -hmm. having a chat with the devil, and you are busy binding the devil. Look at the Messiah when the devil tempted him. Mm -hmm. He didn't say, I bind you. In the name. In the name. In which name? In which name? <laughs> <laughs> wow. He said, I get thee behind me. Mm. Get out of here. Let it, me mind my business. It is written. For it is written. Yeah. That's how you fight the devil. That's right. Come on. Man. He knows the, the scriptures from A to Z. Mm. But you also have to know the scriptures from A to Z. Mm. He will twist it. Mm. The same as he said unto Eve that it is true. Mm. But you will not surely die. That's right. What Elohim said was the truth, mm -hmm. but, but but you will not. Sh and indeed, she did, did not surely die. die. That's right. <laughs> That's right. But she was. He was speaking about eternity, mm. and the woman, her head was not dead. Mm. She was in the flesh. So therefore, because of that, no man was able to live a day before Elohim. Mm. Not That's even right. one day before Elohim. What a revelation. <laughs> he said, you will not surely die. And look at this. When Elohim was punished, mm. he first cursed what the serpent. Yes, he cursed the woman. Mm -hmm. And cursed who? The man. Where was the devil? Mm. He cursed the snake mm. who allowed himself to be used mm. by the prince of the earth. Mm. But Elohim did not curse Satan. Mm. So when you Read it and you see Elohim cursing the serpent. It is not Satan. Mm. Satan is not crawling on his belly eating sand. Mm. They chop smoke well, well. Wow. <laughs> He's not crawling. If he was crawling on the ground, how can he was able to find a place in the Shamaims? Mm. Among the sons of Elohim. Wow, that's a good question. Listen to the book. Verse 7. Mm. And Yahuwah said unto Satan, Get thee from behind thee. Whence comest thou? Where are you coming from, my son? Then Satan answered. And Satan answered and said unto him, From going to and fro. I am a busy man. Listen. Going to and fro in the earth. Where? Going to and fro. Where in is the, the devil earth. chilling? Going to and fro. The in devil the chills earth. in your church. He chills at your work. Mm. He chills when you are wedding. He chills when you are in your room thinking about life. He is not restricted by prayers. So when you are praying, the devil, I'm going to order a crusade. But it it not the work. He's still there. Hmm. Why? Because he walks to and fro on the earth. So we shouldn't pray against the devil. Okay. <laughs> Listen but, to that. But the Bible says that we should resist the enemy, and he will flee. didn't so say. Pray against the enemy. Wow. But resist him. How do you resist him? Like Yahushua did. Uh -huh. Satan said that indeed it is written mm. that even when you throw yourself, you want to commit suicide. Mm. That he will send his angels to come and capture you so that you don't. He was quoting from Psalms. Mm. And the Messiah looked at him Good. and he said, Thou shalt not tempt thy Elohim. Mm. He didn't cast him out. And when Satan has used all the scriptures, mm. and the Messiah was also saying, as it is written, he said, you know, forget about this madman. Mm. Then he left Yahushua alone. Mm. Yahushua didn't bind him. Okay. Now the, the disciples went unto him mm. and said that John the Baptist is teaching his people how to pray. Mm. Therefore, teach us mm. how we should. What did he say? Our Father who art in yeah, heaven. That's right. Our Lord be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Yeah. Thy will be done on earth as it is already done in the Shema That's right. Give us this day our daily bread mm. that we may chop well well. Mm. 
And now forgive us what our sins. The same as we forgive our mother that someone is accusing to be a witch. Wow. And lead us not into temptation, Hmm. but deliver us from evil. For thou belongest all power and authority. He didn't mention the devil. Wow. Wow. So in the outline that we got with regards to prayer. That's how you pray. Let the world, he said, let thy will be done as it is already what done in the heavens. Wow. Therefore, he said unto what Peter, I have given you the mysteries and the keys. The keys. Whatsoever that you will bind, it shall be bound. Mm. What you will lose, it shall be lost. You don't go around binding and losing. Mm. You only bind when Elohim has already told you that it is bound. Okay. That's why you have to be led by the Spirit. Mm. So he said that go and preach this good news, but don't go into the cities of the Gentiles. Mm. You don't have authority yet to preach there. Mm. But after my death, mm. when the ruach is come That's upon right. you, then ye shall be my witnesses ah. in all other nations. Mm. So the Messiah himself, the Bible said that he went to Bethlehem where mm. he was born mm. and he could not function. That's right. He was without honor. Without honor. Yes. And Elohim, he is a jealous Elohim. Mm. So he cannot operate when honor is being given to the devil. Mm. And you are busy binding mm. and eating swine's flesh. Listen to the word. Then Hashatan answered Yahuwah. And a Satan answered the, the, the Most High himself. And said, and he said, from going to and fro I am earth. I'm so busy, I'm busy than you. Listen. And from walking up and down in it. Listen, he can travel up and he can come down. He is not restricted because of your building. Listen. And Yahuwah said unto Satan. And the Most High said unto Satan. Has thou considered. Have you considered my servant. My servant Job. My servant Job. That there is none like him. Behold I was searching through the street of the world. And I saw that there is none like Job. In the earth. Yeah listen. A perfect. He is a perfect. And upright man. But your man. pastor is telling you that. No man can be perfect. Mm. That just eat anything you want to eat. Mm. Just fornicate and cleanse yourself with the blood of Jesus. He will forgive you. But Elohim, even in the olden days, he said that he was a perfect man. And when the Messiah came, he said that, behold, Mm. that perfection in the Old Testament cannot even save you. Mm. And that now, let your light so shine <laughs> that wherever that you may go, people may see that hey, this one is different. The be ye perfect, the same as Elohim is perfect. But your pastor keeps on telling you, no, you cannot be perfect, and you have accepted it. So when someone, so-called pastor, he has cheated, he has raped someone, you said, Oh, don't judge him, he's a man of God. We are all we are all sinners, you know. But you are there preaching against homosexuals. Yeah. Is, that Is that not judgment? You are there saying, This says Elohim, I have spoken against this nation, an earthquake is coming. Is that not judgment? <laughs> this so called preacher, what is wrong with these people? You stand in the gap, you want to repent, 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 <laughs> repent, <laughs> repent, <laughs> repent, <laughs> repent. <laughs> Do you know what that means? <laughs> when he said, I repent. 360 degrees turn. But that is not judgment. Listen to the book. A perfect and upright man. He is a perfect and an upright man. One that fears Elohim. One. In order for you to be perfect, you must fear who? Ones that fear But they will Elohim. tell you, why do you put fear in people? Don't put fear in them. Elohim is, Jesus is all about love, love, love. <laughs> love. Don't put fear in people. Mm. Do you know what you are talking about? The fear of Elohim. Yet these people fear the pastors more than Elohim. Mm. Elohim can show them dreams, visions. They will not obey, but let the pastor say that tomorrow, 2 a.m., you have to be here. They will go. They will not even cook for their husband. They will go to a hotel room. Mm. When the 
prophet tells you that, come, you want to have a baby. I have to baptize you. And when you are on the bed, whatever I say is not from me, it's from the spirit. Mm. <laughs> Just obey the voice. So when I say, open your legs, open it. Mm. Don't doubt it. <laughs> when I say, remove the clothes, remove it. Don't doubt it not. Wicked spirit. generation. Mm. What a wicked generation. And we keep on producing false prophets every single day. Mm. Look at Nigeria, look at Ghana. Mm. Nigeria produces more false prophets than any nation in Africa. Mm. After that is Ghana. Ghana. Then after that Zimbabwe. Ghanaian prophets. Then after that South Africa. Prophet in the Western world, America is number one. Mm. Canada is number two. UK is number three. Hey, statistics. You are at home watching what is the TBN or what the what is that channel called TBN TBN. 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 Yeah. You are watching these people. What do they teach? Yeah. You are watching them. Miracle what do they money. teach? Miracle money. Bring dollars. Let me work on dollars. Was, and you are there. I want uh, to be like TB Joseph. What is he preaching? That's right. What is he preaching? I want to be like TB Joseph. What is he preaching? That's right. What is his message? Amen. You want to look at the cloud. That's why you want to be that's like true. him. That's right. You want to please. You don't him. look at the message. Oh, what a cloud. Mm. I want to have a church like this. It's not your church. That's right. For I will build my church. That's right. He will build. And the kingdom of hell cannot. Pro- you are talking about building a church. That's right. What can you build? You don't even have a house. <laughs> you are going to build a church for Elohim. Oh. He said, I will build it. That's right. But you guys look at multitude, mm. 60,000, all of them speak in tongues, mm. yet yeah? they have divorced more than five times. Mm. Where is holiness? In the There's world? no holiness, even from their face. Mm. Everything is swept from head to toe. That's right. And the pastor tells you, no, forget about it. It's all about your heart. Mm. Which heart? It's all about your heart. Wear what you wear. Mm. Wear fake hair. Mm. <laughs> you will not go to hell. We will see when we die. If you can stand in the presence of Elohim, mm. everything is fake. And it doesn't send you to hell, then I, I will join you. You will all join you. <laughs> everything is fake from head to toe. And Elohim who is a natural man, mm. an ancient of this. Mm. He himself, the scripture said that he has a garment mm. to his feet. He has come. And you are in a church with a minister. Mm. And your pastor is telling you, forget about it. It's mm. not about your heart. Come on. But let a man wear a short trousers and go to church. You will mm. see what the pastor, he will call you, brother. You know, this church, we don't allow such things. Oh, but the so. woman is wearing strings. That's right. These strings and minister, <laughs> and they cannot preach against it. Ah. And they are talking in tongues. And they are falling down. Your tongues is powerless. Fire burn down, Babylon. May Elohim have compassion. Mm. Something is wrong with this generation. Amen. Something is really wrong with this generation. Nice, yo, yeah. Elohim set that up and he looks at that and he's like, what? Mm. He said, I have lost many things. Mm. And we are here busy. Bind. We are always binding and binding and binding and binding. Mm. Why don't you lose yourself? Ah, come on. You are busy binding others, but have you thought about yourself? Mm. When you are busy binding, don't you know that as you are binding, someone is also binding you mm. in Ghana? Mm. Because a prophet also told him mm. or her that you are a witch. Mm. So <laughs> binding for you fire. are binding him or her, and he is binding you. Fire for fire. <laughs> thunder for thunder. And the Messiah himself, when he was on the tree, mm. he was hurt. People that he knew, they forsook him. Mm. They were spitting on him. When the disciple pulled out a knife and chopped off the ears, he said that, don't do it. Mm. For if it was for fire, for fire. Mm. I have thousands of malakins, right. angels right here that they can kill these people within mm. seconds. But on the cross, on the tree, he said, Forgive them, Elohim, for they know what not that which they do. And you cannot forgive your mother yes. who gave birth to you. You yes. are binding her. Mm. <laughs> you will die and see. The pastors can tell you, don't give your mother any money, otherwise you will die. Mm. 
and your mother is suffering at the hospital, mm. you said, no, die. And when she dies, you will use money mm. to pay for the further case. Mm. To go and follow. Man, yeah. What? Man, yeah. Do you know the case that you are? That's why our children are cursed. Mm. Because Elohim said, I will curse them with a curse. Mm. Because they do not obey the law. We said, honor thy father and thy mother, oh. so that I may prolong your okay. days. Amen. <laughs> you are binding. You are good Christian. You can only bind. Mm. Bind the last point. Mm. Today, 12 a.m., we are, we are, the, the crusade is called killing our witches. Mm. The witch must be. Die. Mm. <laughs> she would the die. witch must die to mm. say 21 days revival, mm. and it is titled The Witch Must Die. Thunder and fire. So, who did you revive? Mm. Because you did not work on yourself, you were killing someone. Mm. So, that revival that is killing a revival, mm. yeah. it's right. killing someone a revival. Mm. And these people come from Ghana, wherever you go to that. You, you have time to go and say, where oh, prophet has come from, Ghana. And so what? Mm. what have that? they been able to revive the people in Ghana? That's right. And they are now coming here to revive you. Mm. They forgive people who commit abortion, but not witches. Mm. Man! <laughs> what a good point. Women have aborted more than eight children in the church. Mm. Sister. The pastor said, you know the blood of Jesus. Some of them are even called prophetess mm -hmm. with veil on their head. You have killed eight children. And you want Elohim to forgive you. But when it comes to your mama, because she is awake, she, she must, must die. die. She must die. Wow. <laughs> ah. <laughs> May Elohim have compassion. <laughs> May his will forever be done. Amen. When you think about these things, you become sad. When you go to Ghana, women are suffering. Some of them, they sold everything that they have so that they can give their children education. Mm. And when that guy became a doctor, he went to one church. Mm. That pastor has never been to school before. Yes, and he's telling a, a, a so-called medical doctor mm. that your mother is a witch. Mm. And from henceforth, do not give your mother money. Mm. And you are indeed obeying him. Did not the Messiah say for you Christians? Did not the Messiah tell you mm. that I forgive your enemies mm. and pray for them who trouble you mm. so that I may also have compassion of them? Why don't you call those verses? Mm. But when it comes to the witch must die, you run to where? Isaiah. Mm. No one confession against me. In the day of King Uzziah. Any King Uzziah in my life. Who is called Uzziah in your family? Who is called Uzziah in your family? And you are the only Uzziah in my family. Who is called Uzziah in your family? Why are you now going to the Old Testament? That's right. You said you are a New Testament preacher. Amen. But all of a sudden, when it comes to battle, mm. you are going to hide behind Isaiah. Mm. But Isaiah never bound Satan. Mm. He said that Elohim said that I have created him mm. to destroy. That's right. And he didn't say that ah, we have to bind him, but he said, never delay. Mm. No weapon fashioned against us will stand. That's right. And he said that this is what the protection of the ones mm. who obey the voice of Elohim and servant. Mm. But you are not under the law. Mm. So you can bind well well. Let us stay five minutes break. And then after that, you will see how the spirit will lead us.